Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial video, I'll talk about customer payment. Let's go to SQL, Customer Module, Customer Payment. So once you log in, you can see all the customer payment that previously created. Over here, you also will notice that is there any customer payment that you have not knocked off? Then it will appear under UA amount. UA amount stands for unapplied amount. That means you have not knocked off with any transaction. Example, over here you can see Airbus Telecommunications have paid you 80, but there is a UA amount 80 also, meaning that this payment have not knocked off with any. And you can see that at the bottom here, invoice or debit knockoff is empty. But if you look at this, Alpha Beta computer, they pay you 5,000. So it knockoff with IV-00004 amount 5,000. And it still have a outstanding amount of 4,380. Now, to search for one particular official receipt, what you can do is you can make use of any of the field over here. Example, official receipt number. Press 11, then you are able to search. If you want to make use of any field that not over here but available, what you can do is right click any column title, go to field chooser, drag out the field, example, check number, drag drop. So you can just type the check number, then you can be able to search for that official receipt. You don't want just drag, drop, put it back, or right click the column title, remove this column. Another way is at the most left hand side, there is a small button called small button with multiple line. So click on it. Same thing, just click on the field that you want. Example check number, click, it will appear, untick, disappear. So let's create a customer payment. So First thing, select the customer who made payment to you. So over here, you can see that I just type in the customer name, it will appear. If let's say when you type the customer name, nothing appear, meaning that your focus of searching is not at company name. Over here is company name too, because it's both. So what you need to do is you clear off the word that you key in, click on the tab key on your keyboard, TAB, tab key. It will move to another column, tab, move, tab, move. So you move to company name, then you just type the name will do. Okay. So now, how much your customer pay you? Let's say 1,000. So with 1,000, it will receive in bank or cash or what? So in accounting, this is your debit side. You debit your bank example. So they pay you, check you back, debit into your bank. So what is the check number or online payment transfer slip number? Then, which invoice to be knocked off? You can see there is an apply amount. So which invoice to be knocked off? Let's say this invoice. Or sometimes they may want to separate the payment for different invoice. Example, this one, they want to pay you 800. So you can change the pay amount. And another 200 is pay for this invoice. So it's called partially payment. There's no more unapply amount. Click on save. Done. So the double entry will be done automatically. Right click show double entry so you can see the double entry already done automatically then you can just click on print or preview select the format you want and then you can print the official receipt for your client so at the left hand side of course you can do some attachment maybe the customer check uh, buy and slip something like this okay it will be very useful when you want to do some tracking, you search back the document and things like that. So SQL will not put the document into the system, but just creating a link to that document. It can be a document, it can be a picture or anything else because it's just creating a link. So can put in some notes also. So this is how you create customer payment in SQL accounting system. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies.